Hello everyone, I am Anish and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we will solve this interesting question on switched capacitors, right? So uh, what is this question asking us is find the value of the voltage VC at t equals to 0 plus. So the switches are there which are closing at t equals to 0 and we have to find this voltage, right? Voltage across this capacitor. So like uh, whenever these types of question come, right, on switched capacitors, so always use like with a voltage source, right? We have voltage source also. Always use supervision. So like uh, how will you use supervision? So first let me take the circuit, right? So let me copy the circuit and only take one source consider one source okay so first i will consider the voltage source right i will uh, ignore the charge across the capacitor initial charge right this one so i will remove this okay then i will close the switches right so if i close the switches t equals to zero so let me write this uh, that using superposition Case one is only considering the one volt voltage source. So okay. So now what will happen? Basically this switch is off, sorry on and this switch is also on, right? Both of them are on. So uh, now yeah this one is also on. So what we can do is like find the equivalent capacitance then find the drop across each of them right then we can calculate or you can do the like charge method also by that like as explained in my previous video right so but here what we'll do is simply copy the circuit again paste this here let me delete this this capacitors right will become only one capacitor as I don't need to find the voltages across this, I only need to find the voltages across this. So I can replace this with equivalent capacitance, right? So it will be easier for me to calculate. So what will be the equivalent capacitance? It will be C only. C by 2 is parallel with C by 2, C. So like uh, you can do the charge conservation method also. But here, like what you can see is simply that all these are same, right? So voltage drop across them will be same only. So let me simply apply the KVL. So 1 will be equals to if this is vc right let me say this is vc dash will be equal to 3 vc dash so vc dash will be equals to 1 by 3 volts right so vc dash equals to 1 by 3 volts so this is the case a voltage right across the capacitance now let's do it for the case b right so what is happening for the case 2 so yeah case b Considering the initial capacitance voltage, okay. So, yeah, now uh, let me take the circuit again, like yeah, this one, paste it here. So, now what we'll do is shorting the voltage source, right? So, if I short the voltage source now what will be the voltage now this capacitance right now what will do whenever there are only capacitors present right like there is no source only capacitors with initial charges present what will do we'll always apply uh, charge conservation right always apply charge conservation so like uh, how to apply charge conservation here what i will do again like convert this circuit into an equivalent one for us to uh, simplify our calculations right so again what i will do is what i can see is like this point and this point are ground right these two points are connected and these are different points so this capacitor and this one are connected in series right the charge is same through both of them and like after this these two points right these two points are same for this and this capacitor right the series combination is parallel with c by 2 so what will be the whole combination so yeah let me like delete this first and understand you that yeah this one is a series combination right series combination and these two points right let me mark this ones a and b and across a b what we have series combination of these two and then 
this capacitor also so this overall combination will come out to be c only because series of cc c by 2 and then parallel is c so this is c by 2 this is c only right the whole combination right this is ab and this is 1 volts now we can apply the like easily apply the charge conservation you, you could have applied it then also but we would have uh, have to write more equations there now it will be simpler for us so what i will do is simply write like what is initial charge initial charge is c by 2 times 1 equals to the vo uh, voltage after this so voltage after this is v let's assume it's vab times the uh, like the charge across this c right c is c and it is c by 2 so what is the vab equals to it is simply equals to uh, 1 by 3 right 1 by 3 okay simply equals to 1 by 3 so like after this what will happen so uh, like this is the voltage across this whole combination right whole combination but one thing i can observe is like then they are connected in series right so the voltage at eb points are uh, is 1 by 3 but this is connected in series okay this is connected in series the voltage at this whole point is ab but the voltage across this and this will be same why because both of them are uh, same value of capacitances and they are connected in series so if you apply KVL equation, you will understand, but I will di write it di directly that voltage across this, right? VC double dash will be half of this. So VC double dash will be simply this VAB divided by 2. Just apply the KVL equation and you will understand. Okay. So this will be 1 by 6 volts. Okay. This will be 1 by 6 volts. So now uh, one thing you have to observe is what is the polarity of v, uh, vc right so this is plus minus <coughs> so here this will be plus minus right this will get divided like this plus minus and plus minus okay so that thing you have to notice so our uh, polarity will be minus 1 by 6 right because like our initial vc dash double dash polarity is like this but here the charge is getting divided like this only right so this point is plus and this point is minus okay again this point is plus and this point is minus so that thing you have to uh, take note of so vc double dash polarity will be minus 1 by 6 so now what will be our overall voltage vc right so overall voltage vc vc will be equals to vc dash plus vc double dash so it will be equals to simply 1 by 3 minus 1 by 6 which is equals to 1 by 6 volts okay so yeah you can uh, find it like that now like your homework is simply find the voltage across this right this capacitor okay so um, that you can do find voltage across different capacitors that you can do or take a different initial conditions and from there you can uh, understand like what is happening in the circuit okay so yeah that is it uh, for this question the, like if you like this video then do please hit the like button and thank you for watching